Hi all, welcome to clickshare.com. In this video, I'll show you how to replace null values with a value or a text string. By default, ClickView considers null values to be missing or unidentified. And null values are not linked to other null values means you can't make any selection on the null values. In ClickView, null values work based on three value logic principle. So in today's video, I'll show you how to convert null values as useful strings to make selections. And we will be using null as value statement or the switch. Also, please note that linking of null values is turned off by default unless you're using null as value as a first statement in the script. Using this approach, we can convert the null values to selectable strings. So let's open ClickView and see how we can do this. So let me open click view and let me show you the script editor. And I've just created a sample connection string to SQL Server database, I'm trying to fetch some data from SQL Server. I'm fetching five columns here. One is customer key, title, first name, middle name, and last name. So we have some null values in title and also uh, in middle name. So let's see how we can convert these null values into selectable strings. So first, let me load this data without converting or without making any changes. So let me go ahead and reload. This might take a few seconds. Okay, so we've loaded 18,869 rows. Click on okay. I'll add a table box. Okay, move the title to top and also add a few list boxes. I'll add title and uh, probably first name. And middle name. And finally, uh, the last name. Oops. And remember, list boxes will not show the null values. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Look in properties and show frequency. If you see here, although we've loaded 18,869 rows, we hardly have 100 rows here. It's because list box will always suppress the null values because it's not selectable and it doesn't mean anything to click view unless we convert the null values as selectable strings. However, in a table box, you will see the rows because the granularity of the data is set to the customer key. So we are seeing the title as missing values here. So if I select, probably if I select uh, uh, Mr. So I see 54 or sorry, 52 rows in here. But however, if I remove, I see loads of null values. So if you try and select here, nothing happens. You can't select here because these are all the null values. Let's go back to script and see how we can convert these null values as selectable strings. So let me go back to script editor, control E. And um, I'll use a system variable to define the null values. So set null value equals to now I prefer using um, unknown. I'm using angle brackets so that they come on the top of the list. So it's easy to see the null values on the top of the list. And uh, so we have to define this variable, which is null value equals to unknown. I'm calling it unknown. You can call it anything. You might as well call it as null or unspecified. It can be anything. And uh, let me close this pop-up. Now, what we need to do is, now you have an option, turn on the switch, which is null as value. And then this will also accept wildcard. So either you can write in individual fields or you can actually go ahead and say star here. So it converts all the fields as null values. In this case, I'll not do that. I will just say title. So title is this field name. So we're saying that 
we will convert wherever there's a null value we will convert the title as unknown so let's go ahead and save this and reload so it might take few more seconds to reload there we go click on close and if you see here expand this table box and you see the unknown value here now you see all the missing unknown values this is selectable now you can select and it comes on the top of the list because i've used the angular brackets so this is pretty useful to control or to show what is missing using this approach you can convert null values to selectable strings this way users will always have complete data in list box and other objects and generally for analytical purposes it's equally important to understand what is missing and this is one of the methods to convert the null values to a string and now let's go back and also convert the middle name if you see the middle name uh, which still holds null values so it's not selectable so let's go back to script editor and click on star select star here instead of individual field names so this will convert across all the fields so let the reload finish just takes a few more seconds to finish okay there we go so if you see here now everything is selectable so you can see the missing first name missing middle name and also the missing last name so you can select them you will get the associated values and you can select this you will again get the associated values this is a simple technique to convert nulls into selectable strings. I hope you will find this video useful. I would also encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day. Where I ask ClickView questions on a regular basis, you can answer them to assess your knowledge. You will see instant results and you can also compare your results with other developers and designers. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me open a new session in browser. Click on new. And uh, let me go to clickshare.com. If you see here QQOTD, ClickView question of the day, it's ClickView quiz. And if you see here, uh, I've already asked 143 questions. So you can select an answer and click on continue and you will see the instant result. So this is a very useful and also a quick way of checking knowledge on regular basis. So keep looking for this space. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.